Hello everyone, I'm Ariel Metropolis with this WMUR News 9 update. A man who was found dead in the Piscataquag River has been identified as 51-year-old Christopher Josephson from Manchester. Police were called to the scene near 2nd Street in Manchester around 8 a.m. on Thursday. State police say he may have drowned, but autopsy results are still pending. Right now, an investigation is underway after a local business was hit by gunfire. It happened at Toby's Barbershop in Meredith. Fish and Game officers say the windows were shot out by goose hunters in a nearby field, and it happened sometime between last Sunday evening and Monday morning. If you have any information, you're asked to contact Fish and Game. Local families had an opportunity to have their kids' car seats professionally inspected. It's part of National Child Passenger Safety Month. Police in Derry held a free clinic today helping parents and parents-to-be make sure their car seats are properly installed. Experts say car crashes are a leading cause of death among young kids. Under the age of three, it's number one is congenital heart defects, but number two is clo a close second is motor vehicle collision. There are over 60 fitting stations where officials say people can go for help with their car seat installation. You can find a list of those locations on our website. That's WMUR.com. Now here's meteorologist Jackie Thomas with your forecast. Well, heading through the weekend already, we've seen these nice conditions continuing. We have had a mainly dry day, a bright day out there today, heading through the evening hours. An isolated sprinkle, not out of the question, and there will be some areas of patchy fog developing overnight tonight. Lows generally falling back into the 50s. Tomorrow, we're right back into the upper 70s and low 80s for highs. Early morning fog gives way to sunshine as we head through the afternoon. So this pleasant stretch continues is mainly dry even into the start of next week. The second half of the week could feature a chance for a couple of showers, but we're also going to hang on to some warmer temperatures through the beginning of the week as well. The end of the week could feature a chance for cooler, more fall-like conditions.